Security teams are under pressure to improve their processes. And moving to DevSecOps automation introduces a much more granular and technical measurements than traditional security testing. What we have found is that even simple measures of what's happening in automated security testing can highlight gaps and give insights for improvement where budget can be spent to the best effect. Hi, my name is Guy Robinson. I'm the founder and chief security officer of Ulesca. Ulesca is a platform that helps you implement and scale your application security programs by fully automating and orchestrating your preferred security tools in CICD. In this video, we're going to look at how to measure security metrics within DevSecOps and how to use them to generate insights for continuous improvement. The problems of measuring security. They say you can't improve what you can't measure, but with software development and DevSecOps being so fast paced, many are struggling just to keep up with the testing, never mind the measuring of what they're doing. And if the act of measuring affects its own performance, then that just doesn't work. In traditional security environments, there are a few problems with measuring security. One, the frequency. If you're pen testing every six months or every year, that's just not enough granularity to know what's happening in between the tests. Two, the scale. When there are more projects to test than security can handle manually, then the projects are going to be skipped. If they're skipped, then they're not measured. And three, the measure itself, because it's not just a matter of counting issues. What are you measuring? Are your projects getting tested in a consistent way so that you're comparing apples with apples? For companies that turn to DevSecOps and the associated security automation, this gives the ease and frequency of the measures that are needed. And then you can play with much more data. If development drives down lots of security bugs, you want that to be recognized and rewarded. And if security teams add automation that either highlights or drives down the risk, then that should be seen as well and replicated where possible. When metrics are recorded automatically at really no cost, then you can record as much as you like and interpret the insights on your security that work for lots of levels, from individual product projects up to teams and departments and across the whole company. How DevSecOps is used to improve security metrics. Here are a few ways we've seen DevSecOps used to improve security metrics and the security processes. Mean time to fix. It's always a popular metric. And if your CICD pipeline security testing found the issue at time X, and then show the issue had been fixed because it's not found at time Y, then it's much more easily to accurately measure the time to fix without any human interaction. Doing this at scale across thousands of issues gives you a rich data source for performance insights that you can match up to new actions you're introducing for quick feedback. Comparisons across projects or teams. Is the Belfast team coming across more security issues than the New York team? This helps you know where to invest in that training course or reward teams who are helping the business through their amazing cyber skills. These metrics can be used to gamify security across teams and compete on security. What have we spent our cyber budget on? Cyber teams have an interesting job. They're given a budget to reduce risk to the business. However, it can be hard to quantify that at the end of the year. You know, you had 10,000 security issues at the start of the year. You spend 10 million security budget in the year, and now you've got 9,000 issues. What does that tell you? Did you simply fix 1,000 issues over the year? Or were there 5,000 new issues introduced over the year, and you ended up fixing 6,000 of them? Through continual automated measurement, those daily changes can present a much more better data on what really happened throughout the year. The return on investment of security tools. Some security tools are free and some are expensive. Some require little usage and some need a week-long training course. 
when a DevSecOps tool in automation is able to show the real side-by-side -side comparisons of various tools, then you can make a call about the true costs and value of your security tooling. Categories of security issues. We've seen organizations categorize the issues they find in ways that make sense. Maybe according to OWASP ASVS or categories like NIST or the Cloud Security Alliance. But by doing this, it quickly becomes clear what categories of security issues keep on coming up. How the security, the Eleska platform helps. The Eleska platform hooks into your existing processes to run and record security testing during CICD pipeline scans or whatever webhook or other methods, methods you like. It's been used to highlight the categories of security issues that are causing the most risk and has built-in charts and other ways to get access to the information to show how the risk and numbers of issues and other factors change from week to week. The Alaska platform can be used to prove the amount of risk being removed from projects and the overall organization, all without increasing the time needed to do the measurements. And since the Alaska platform is integrated into your existing automation or CICD processes, but it's run outside of those and configured outside of those, it gives you the flexibility to extend the metrics or go historical without affecting the CICD or other processes that you're using. Another nice aspect is that you can query this historical information to answer questions you didn't even know you had when you started doing the measurements. By adding risk management dimension, that allows you to show that while the number of issues in a backlog may be growing, the overall risk to the company is actually decreasing due to the highest risk issues being processed, handled, and fixed sooner. So to recap, traditional approaches can make it difficult to not only do security testing, but also track those metrics easily. DevSecOps's automation can greatly improve the frequency of those recordings. And the Alaska platform works to automate your testing and record the metrics of that testing so you can measure and improve your security programs. Come back to us next week. Where we're going to have the next video that will talk about focusing and reducing the issues that are raised from security testing so that your development teams can focus on the issues that matter.